Guys, Caleb is selling everything we own on our front lawn. What? Huh. I didn't know I had two shirts. Hope you don't mind, Colin, but I, I sold your coat. Caleb, I love that coat! <sighs> Thank gosh I have the backup. Colin will now wear this for the rest of the series. Hey, Mayor George, you know, you are the guy I was looking for because you look hungry for a blue coat. You boys have a permit to be doing a yard sale? A permit? Yes, a permit. In Section 1, Article 1 of the First Town Ordinance, it clearly states that any citizen pawning items off from their property requires a permit to do so. Do you have it? Do you have it? Yeah, of course I have it. It's, I, I, I think I left it somewhere in day. Give me one second. Well, if not, then I'm afraid I'm gonna need you all to vacate the premises. What vacate? What are you talking about vacate? Yep, come on, back it in, let's go. Oh, you know, he must mean leave. Yeah. Hey, hang on, wait a second. Send these boys to the finest hotel in town. <laughs> the finest hotel in town? I don't know, man. I just drive. Well, this is, uh... Yeah, it's all right. You, except for that lady. <laughs> Colin, you really gotta lay off the misogynism. <clears throat> Watch closely. Hey there, broad. We'd like one lovely room with a view. <laughs> Who knows where the night will lead us. We're kind of big shots around these parts. You should know the kind of room we like because I, we, be, because I just told you. I'm sorry, but it appears no rooms are available right now. Looks like a room just opened up. We'll take it. We'll take it! Suck, suck, suck. Looks up. I swear to God, this isn't what it looks like. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Where are my manners? Do you want a piece? Hey, come on, sit down, sit down. How the mint? Not having a mint, Caleb. I want to get out of here. Stop. You're overthinking it. Stop that. It sits just right with me. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. Ah! Hey, I was watching that. George? It's election night. Don't you think you should be more focused on your campaign? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Anna. Everything's fine. Just gonna win again like I do every year. They love me. Look, we really need to work on your speech. These people look up to you. What are you going to do after I'm gone? <laughs> what do you think I've been doing? Don't worry about it, it'll all be fine. Well, would you look who it is? <laughs> 
Sloppy George. Ugh, Mayor James. Oh, surprise, George. As in, surprise no one's let you in on it yet. I'm gonna be the one running against you this year. Hmm, I uh, didn't think people would actually run against me. <laughs> See you at the polls, sacrilegious George. I gotta... All right, George, let's... <sighs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cheat. Cheat? Oh no, Georgie boy is no cheater. Picture this as an open book test. Except I'm the book, and I'm in your ear. Now that sounds moral. Here, just put this in your ear, and I'll tell you what to say. Perfect. I'll never lose now. By the way, you're sure the guys are okay with you holding this here? Of course, they were thrilled. I sent them to the finest hotel in town. Ah! Hello, room service. Here are the towels you ordered. No boy. Let me some towels. Will that be all, boys? No, that won't be all. Could you tell us how to work the TV? You don't know? Here, let me show you. Ah! Ha! Ah, okay. Well, just give me a finger if you need anything. Room service. Financial information packet. Deaf patients, call now. It's cooking with Clive. Today we're going to be making the idiot sandwich. Any will do. Look, there's one right now. Have you seen my dad? No, not around here, but I'll keep an eye out. Cheerio, I'm Chet Chinsley of the Breaking News Network. A big spider has attacked the town hall. Oh my god. In light of this, the electoral debate will be relocated to 16 Breastplate Lane, a tiny house that the mayor's friends have graciously offered as an emergency refuge. What? 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 Oh, sure. How? Did they just dox us? Can they do that? That's it. Ooh. Your call is been- We were otherwise occupied. Ah, uh, you were off key. Pick up, pick up, pick up, George, pick up, pick up, George! Yellow? What the hell are you doing with our house? We never said you could have a debate there. Keep it down in there or I'm gonna snap your finger. Relax, everything's government controlled. I'm simply borrowing it for now. I'll give it back after we're done. It's not cool to spontaneously host an election in our house, George. Not to add you didn't even ask permission, you just kicked us out. I know the whole thing with the island was a genuine mistake, but this is a new low for you, George. Let me take a shower. I'll be right back. Come on, let's just go home. Now, do I hang the towel up or throw it on the ground? Ah! Oh my gosh, Caleb, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. This place barely has any hot water. Ruined my whole shower. Caleb, how are you so calm during all this? I would imagine you of all people would be freaking out right now. Well, Dave, <laughs> ever since the last episode, I, I've gained a lot of confidence. I mean, I saved the town. I, I fought pirates. I went sailing. I can do just about anything now. Uh-huh. Like shower in blood. Can you please just throw in the towel and leave with us? No, nah, I think I'm just going to leave it on. And no, okay, guys, trust me on this, okay? It'll just be one night. It can't be too bad. <sighs> Fine, Caleb. We'll stay. Screw that, I'm getting out of here. I'd like to check out immediately, please. You can check out any time you want. But you can never leave. Hey, out of my way, buddy. Fine. Guess I have to stay. Yay! 
And now, for the election you've all been waiting for, it's Georgetown Feud with your host, Alex Ribbon. Welcome, folks, to the annual Georgetown Feud, the only feud where two candidate skills are put to the test on the playing field to see who will be Georgetown's next mayor. First up, tonight's candidates. Running for his another term in office, Mayor George. And from the next town over, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mayor James. And our third contestant tonight, this man eating a plate of cold spaghetti. Wait, no, I'm not ready yet. Hold on. Wait, wait. Shit, he's good. Don't be intimidated, sir. The third party never makes it on the ballot. Each contestant will now give their opening statements. <clears throat> we will print more money, so we will have more money. Thank you. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. I like money. Never thought of it like that. Hey, this guy ain't so bad. Just repeat what I tell you, George, and it will all be fine. Okay, I will. As you all know- No, I'm a humble and modest man. Who could forget the time I put that pirate in his place and rescued all from that dreadful island? Or when I created Saturdays, remember that? Of course you do. What about that time I built a commemorative statue of myself for rescuing you from that dreadful island? If you choose to reelect me, I will bring more great things like those to our town. All girl spaghetti. Hey, that sounds too bad. I don't like spaghetti. I never thought of it like that. Hey, this guy is so bad. Ooh, and it looks like he's out of the race. Now on to the games. about you two, but I love it here. The carpet is wet, the pool is wet, everything's wet. In fact, we should just live here. I can't take it anymore. There was actual cheese in my cheese Danish. I'm done. How do you know it wasn't just the continental breakfast, huh? And Colin, what about you, buddy? You like it here, right? Someone in the dining hall said they were gonna cut my face off and wear it as a Halloween mask. Oh. Last chance to come with us, Caleb. Come on, we really don't want to have to leave you here alone, buddy. I, uh, I think I'm going to stay here for the night. I'm not going to force you guys to stay if you don't want to. Tell you what, Caleb. We'll give you a big bowl of ice cream when you make it back in the morning. If he makes it back. Do you really mean it? Totally! Oh, that makes it all worth it. We'll see you in the morning, buddy! Better. 
What now? Don't for the love of What was the sound that the lower half of my body just produced? Uh, I think I need help. is meant. Can I have a can I have like a like a craft signal? <laughs> friends here don't like the scenery so i'm gonna see if they like it better downstairs well since i like it here so much why don't you take me instead i mean it doesn't look so bad down there i suppose as long as someone goes to hell that could work don't do it caleb i've been to hell before the food sucks Nope, too late, I already made up my mind. The whole thing is my fault anyways. If we just left when we had the chance, we wouldn't be in this stupid mess. I'm gonna be the bigger man here and... <sighs> Take responsibility for my actions. Oh yeah, there's a lot of that in hell. Ooh, ooh, it's a little hot. Ooh, it's a little hot in there. It's a little hot in there. Ooh. <laughs> Caleb is gone, and will now be in hell for the rest of the series. Should have just listened to him and stayed here. Man, we're bad friends, aren't we? There's so much more we could have all done together. Like have a lemonade stand, or spend a day in prison, or go to Canada. Alright folks, and for our final challenge of the night, honesty. Is your politician telling the truth? Well, we hooked them up to a lie detector test to find oh. out. Mayor James, tell us what you plan to do if you win. Well, if we're being truthful here, which we are, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it, I'm not gonna do anything when I become mayor. Probably just gonna sit around the city half the time and do nothing all day. Well, at least I'm being honest. Jeez, what a free load. Ooh, lots of booze coming from James's side. Let's see how our George can handle the pressure. That's what I was gonna say. But this is a new low for you, George. What the hell are you doing with our house? We never said you could have a debate there. You look hungry for a blue coat. What are you going to do after I'm gone? Gone, gone, gone. Well, the, the truth is... Uh, Tell them you're- George? George! What are you doing? Honestly, I'm not the mayor you deserve. The only reason I made it this far is because of my assistant, Anna. She's been telling me what to say and do through this earpiece the entire time. If anyone here should be mayor of this town, it's her. Well, this is certainly a turn of events. Does the crowd think Anna should be mayor? I mean, yeah, she sounds pretty cool, I guess. Then it's settled! Now, where is she? Come on out here, Anna! Well, citizens of Georgetown, say hello to your new mayor! It takes guts to do what you did, seductive George. I'll give you that. That's why my victory next year is gonna be so sweet when I absolutely mop the floor with you and that girl at the same time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever, get out of here, you hack. 
Actually, all of you should get out here. Don't you have jobs? Oh, yeah. I left my kid in the car. Yeah! George, <laughs> I, I really can't be mayor. This is too big of a responsibility for me. Nonsense. If I could do it, you definitely can. It's a pretty easy job. Hey, Mayor Anna, you got my pay? You got my uh, pay, my money, please? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Mucho gracias. See, easy spy. Now then, let's throw a party in your honor. <laughs> State your name, address, and religion. <laughs> Is this the front desk of hell? Yeah. Well, if I'm in hell, then who are you? Lady? I'm Satan. <laughs> hey, shut the hell up, you two! <clears throat> Sorry, just working here to cover the receptionist's eternity leave. Now, like I said, so please. <laughs> uh, uh, I think he got me all Wait wrong. Wait a second, you're not scheduled for today. Who brought you in here? <laughs> uh, just take us, our friend is gone, never to return. Anymore. Just keep your pants on, you ninnies. Hey guys. Hello. Caleb! Are you okay? Uh, don't don't worry, I'm fine. I had a lovely deal with the devil over here, and turns out he's actually a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Turns out your friend was there by mistake. Mistake made by my no good son over there. What were you thinking? You don't send people to hell before they die, you idiot! Apologize! Oh fine, fine. I'm sorry. Apologize once more! Oh, okay, okay. Apologize, however. Do it! I'm sorry I overtook the hotel and dragged your friend to hell. Uh, water under the bridge? Isn't that nice? Jeez, Legion, we're supposed to torture these sinners, not take hostages. There you go, boys. You're free to go now. Yippee. Thanks, Satan. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Come on, guys, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Dixie! Damn kids. <sighs> and as for you, it looks like someone here needs to learn the meaning of torture. Hey, things got crazy back there, but it was really cool what you did. It's nice to have you as a friend, buddy. Now, let's leave this place behind us. So where are you boys headed? Oh, back to 16 Breastplate Lane, please. 16 Breastplate? That's where they're holding the election. Oh, yeah. The election. Stop! Stop the Stop count! The count! Stop! Everyone Stop! out! Everyone out! Stop! Hi, guys. I'm... the mayor now? Oh. Oh! Well, congratulations, Mayor Anna. Think of any new policies? Sunglasses are not illegal. Hi, Caleb. Hey, Anna. Hey, George. Man, I went to hell and back today. Well, it seems like we all did, my boy. <laughs> I'll get it. So, Caleb, how was hell? Uh, you know, kind of stuffy, a little cold. Should have brought my second shirt. I'll do that next time. Well, turns out I need to be a legal citizen in order to be mayor. Does that mean I'm mayor again? Yay! As newly appointed mayor of this town, I demand we all celebrate in my, I mean, our honor. <laughs> And I snuck out some pillow mints from the hotel. Let's all have some. Have you seen my son? Daddy! My boy! Ah! Spiders!
on a lay. We need to talk. I thought I told you guys and everyone in that damn organization to leave me alone. Go away. Yeah, come on, we need to talk to you. It's important. Annalee, we need to talk. Honestly, we don't need to talk. We don't need to talk. Like, there was no conversation to begin with. I don't know why you think you can talk to me. Uh, fine. What do you guys want this time?